I use just about any oil available, or even water. The liquid moves particles out of the way so the stone can do its work. It seems like the particles of metal and stone are suspended in the liquid, but that doesn't matter. It works. Find the edge, usually about a 10 to 15 degree angle, then lightly cut the stone in a circular motion. I bought this stone in 80 or 81. I learned this technique when I worked as a cowboy on a ranch in Texas. One of the old cowboys showed me this while he was making new straps for my spurs. Try to sharpen both sides evenly. You can count the upstroke as you sharpen in a circular motion, and then switch sides. I have sharpened small knives, big knives, scissors, machetes, axes, and even spikes, large nails, with this technique. Once while roping Russian boars in Texas, I used a smooth rock to sharpen my buck general. We got about 20 that morning, enough to feed the whole ranch. That was some of the best meat I have ever eaten. It was a glorious feeling sitting on top of the hill overlooking the bottoms. Several dozen Russian boars down below rooting through the marshy area next to the river. Make sure always that your fingers and palm cannot get cut by accident. Be alert. You should wear a glove or put a piece of leather on the table. When we were at the top of the hill, we would partner up and then the partners would do paper rock scissors. We had to decide who would rope the pig and who would jump off their horse and run down the rope and hog tie our catch. After slaughtering, you need a very sharp knife. We would load the pigs in the truck, load the horses into the trailers, then drive back to the headquarters and drop off a pig at each of the houses on the ranch. We would catch extra for Juneteenth. Hundreds of people would show up for the pork, beef, chicken, and trepas barbecue, Texas style. The knife is one of the oldest tools in use by humans. The older one dates back about 2.5 million years. When sharpening a knife, we are taking away small bits of metal, which gives us the edge. There is such a large variety of knives, it can take years to gather all that you need. If you want to use the right tool for the job, then you will need a knife that cuts rope well and a knife that chops wood. For most of my sharpening, I use this Wichita saw. It just touches up the edge. Remember, keep your knife sharp. I have a grinder for the beginning of an edge, a belt sander, a high grit stone from Harbor Freight, a steel that stays in the kitchen. Just like knives, your sharpening mediums are tools. Be careful. The grinder or sander can flip a knife at you faster than a bull can kick you. Don't ask me how I know. Remember, you can sharpen any size of blade this way. The bigger the blade, the more careful you need to be. A strop will polish an edge that needs to be smooth. Most of the time, when I am sharpening one of my swords or machetes, I will put them in a vise, wear thick gloves, and then apply a circular motion with the stone. I am just showing you that if you are careful, you can sharpen anything with this technique. Thanks to our websites and myfavoriteknife.com. Thanks to Silent Partner for the music. And thanks for watching.